What is going on everyone? This is your man King May coming back with y'all right here in the King May YouTube channel, y'all. Make sure you go ahead and smash that little thumbs up button for me today on this video. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the King May community, make sure you go ahead and tap that little subscribe button down there for me now. But today we are back in Marksville, Wisconsin. And we are taking a little bit of a trip down here to the dealership. I've got a, a bit of new tillage equipment that we ended up getting here. And, well, <laughs> we needed it. We uh, we definitely needed the upgrade. So we're just, just to swap out. We ended up selling and getting rid of the old Salford 1800. It's a three-section cultivator. We're going to go ahead. We're going to swap it out for the Mandaco here. So I'm going to catch up with you all after I get this picked up here all right so we just finished up with that y'all so hey what we're gonna do is well we are going to kind of do a lot of miscellaneous things today we we just got this we're getting the mandago back to the farm here we're gonna go ahead i i actually while i was in there i found something really really cool uh i ended up spending a, a bit more money than i was hoping to so we actually we need to make a trip back down at the dealership here so I'll, I'll get with i'll tell you guys what that is here in a minute but aside from that i had a neighbor that was actually asking for some help with their lawn uh they were wanting to rip up their lawn and they were wanting to plant some kentucky bluegrass so i you know i told them you know i got some equipment i could do it but my tractors are a little bit big and aside from that i've i've been looking personally for something new to mow the lawn so yeah we we uh we got a little something well uh we should be able to help the neighbor out with that so we're we are going to be going down and we're going to be doing that today but i need to get some miscellaneous chores done first around the farm planting is all completely done so i need to get the planters cleaned up we need to get them put away we need to do an equipment shuffle around the farm here because well i gotta get some of the stuff put away such as the planters and i need to get some things out to get them ready for this summer and for this fall so we're gonna be doing that, some power washing, some equipment shuffling, so bear tight with me for a little bit here. And then we're gonna make a trip back down there. I'll show you the new little piece of equipment that we got for the farm. It's really cool, I'm excited for it. And we're gonna go help the neighbor out. So we're uh, we're gonna park this away back in here, guys, and we're gonna catch up with you all in a minute here. All right, there we go. We got the 9420 parked. We're just gonna leave it over there for right now. Here we go. We got the 4455 here with the Kinsey planner. We're gonna get this thing power washed off here. All right, there we go. We're firing up the 4455. Got the Kinsey planner completely washed down here. We're gonna take her easy. Seems how we do have a, a, a dirt driveway around the farm here, so. I don't want too much dirt on this planter. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna park it away though. There we go, we got the Kinsey put away. All right, we got anhydrous tank moved out from the shed there as well. I'm gonna leave that outside of the shed for the rest of the summer here until it's fall time. We might go ahead, we might use anhydrous this fall. We'll see, I, I'm gonna have to kind of see where we're sitting as far as nitrogen. And here we go, The this land all weeder bar here this thing has got some weight to it you guys but the old 4455 should handle it just fine i don't know it's it's kind of a weight we might actually swap it over to our case magnum to be honest with you i i think it might do better on that tractor just it is quite a bit of weight here but we are going to get this moved on over here by the grain bins all right there we go got the 4455 it's put away for right now now we need to Wash up the old case 2150 here. And I really don't think I could have gotten that any closer. <laughs> oh, that was that's a tight fit, you guys. But we we do have just enough room in here. We're gonna be we're gonna be kind of compacting everything in the shed, but that's alright. Alright, there we go. Much better. The land all weeder that we have. That little strip tiller, the weeder here. This thing is gonna do a lot better on our case magnum. 340, just the the weight. The case is gonna be able to handle that weight a lot better here. So now we need to go ahead. We need to get the JM seed tender, I should say. We also need to go ahead. We need to get our tanks put away. I'd like to get them down off of the old gooseneck. So we're probably gonna have to get out the old skid steer. All right, there we go. Truck put away. Now time for the seed tender. All right, so we got that taken care of. Now the trucks are parked back away. Now I know. Let's talk about the elephant in the room here, you guys. Yes, we did get a new truck here on Marksville. It is a 3,500 Ram. 
turbo diesel has got the cummins in it so it is going to match well with the old 2500 that we have here as well now what am i going to do i don't necessarily need three trucks you are absolutely right i don't know we will see what we're going to do with the old king may farms incorporated ford this ford i've just always have loved but you guys know me i also love getting new trucks i love enjoying new mods so we'll see maybe we'll get rid of the old ford i don't know for right now we're just gonna have three and that one the king may farms incorporated ford that old truck is just gonna chill in the garage and be my little garage princess for right now but anyways we're gonna go ahead we're starting off the old new dodge 3500 here we're gonna go ahead and actually i need to get backed up to the enclosed trailer that's gonna be the best option here for getting our new toy back to the farm here so we're gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna get hooked up here all right there we go hooked up looks like the lights are all working actually all right we're gonna go let's go ahead let's head back down to the dealership now and i, I want to show you what we ended up getting here before the farm all right we're pulling on in here guys i'm excited to show you what we got and i'm sure you all have probably guessed it by now oh there it is you can see it from a distance all right here it is you guys it's the x748 john deere riding lawnmower this thing is an absolute animal i cannot tell you how excited i am to use this we ended up getting a little front end loader on here figured it'd be nice for the old garden and uh, i don't know I'll, i actually kind of want to see if i can get a garden going here but what we ended up doing is pretty much getting all the attachments for it now if you see this thing kind of sliding a little bit it's nothing to do with this mod i just want to make this very very clear you guys i have an added realism mod in that's kind of what you see when you guys see us getting stuck and whatnot in the fields so just out of character i just want to say that it has nothing to do with this lawnmower it's the mod so just keep that in mind it might slide when i'm not riding it but aside from that we ended up getting ourselves a few little pieces of equipment for it now this is not part of the pack this is a little cedar that we had so i it does work so we are going to go ahead we're going to hook that to the lawnmower as well it's going to help us with our little project with a neighbor today plant some old kentucky bluegrass but we got a little fertilizer as well we got a little dump cart to go along with it a little mini plow and a little disc here a little cultivator so we're going to go ahead we're going to try and get all of this packed into the old enclosed trailer here it should all fit it's all fairly small equipment and try to figure out what to do first all right there we go it's somehow all fit i it was kind of tight i'm not gonna lie it, it took a bit but we we got it all in there let's get it all back to the farm first and then uh we'll go from there maybe uh, i don't know we got the long bed on the new truck maybe ah we bet i don't know we'll figure it out let's get this back to the farm though all right y'all so we're we're back to the farm now and i and i'm just excited to test this thing out i do need to get down on the neighbors here but we're gonna go ahead and i don't i probably should just start right at the front of the house here we're gonna go we're gonna test this more are you guys i'm really curious to see how it does how it mows uh I, I don't know if it's just gonna drop grass i don't we're gonna find out we're gonna find out together here all right here we go oh man we got oh there's quite a bit of grass building up oh man oh that's all right well uh well <laughs> we'll just have to get it scooped up or something later maybe off the driveway we can use that uh we can use our new little uh buggy and we can just gotta get it scooped up here but not too bad though not too bad i'm actually I actually really liking this this is a pretty nice little lawnmower you guys all right so we went ahead and we <laughs> we actually scooped up some of it already so i'm gonna go ahead we're gonna back up we're let's get the fertilizer moved out of there let's grab the uh, the old dump cart here let's bring her on out and uh let's let's use that little dump cart here quick guys all right there we go we we got the old cart pulled out here now let's let's test this little loader bucket oh my god my goodness guys look at the lift on it it's actually got a pretty decent amount of lift to it all right there we go we got a little bit more mode now i don't know i the one thing i would say it would be kind of nice if it didn't drop grass but it is what it is uh maybe hopefully anyways it'll come up with like a bagger later on that would be really really cool to be able to attach that but anyways if you guys are interested in this mod while i am using it here make sure you go ahead check out ja modding uh i downloaded this one from mod network it should be available for console i know they sent it to giants 
and uh as far as i understand it got released we went ahead we got the front end loader detached off of the old lawnmower here we don't necessarily need that right at this moment i will need to reattach it here uh to get some of these grass clippings off once we finish mowing i, I do need to mow this lawn it's getting pretty bad here but we went ahead we hooked up to the plow here and we used the ramps that I've got, and we just got up into the back of the truck here. Got her all strapped down. We're going to go ahead. We're going to head down to the neighbors, and we need to start ripping up their lawn here, you guys. So I will catch up with you all once we get down there now. All right, here we go, guys. It's literally just down the road, about a quarter mile or so. We, we ended up getting down here. So uh, I called him when we were on the way. He said he, he's actually out, and uh, he's making a run down the black earth right now. So we're gonna go ahead we're gonna start ripping it he said pretty much just start behind the shed and he wants to start with the backyard and pretty much he said just follow the tree line get it ripped up we're gonna work towards the house here and uh we're gonna just test it and uh at least for now we're gonna get it ripped up and then he wants to go ahead plant that kentucky bluegrass it's gonna be nice soft uh just a beautiful luscious uh, grass here with that kentucky bluegrass so he wants to do the back first and then we're gonna work to the front all right so we got the lawnmower unloaded here we're gonna go uh, probably just start right up in the back i think that's gonna be the best choice here all right here we go we are uh making our way Ooh, it's actually putting this little lawnmower definitely to the test you guys look at look at the smoke coming out oh my god <laughs> oh my gosh she's definitely getting a workout we're going up the hill and everything all right y'all well we got that finished up and it, it actually turned out fairly nice i'm not gonna lie there's there's some spots that we ended up missing so exclamation point myers we're gonna have to hit them up probably when we come back i do need to bring that little cultivator over and we're gonna have to try and roll this out get it a little bit smoother but i don't know that that little uh that little plow in the back here this thing actually did pretty good at cutting through all the sod getting all of it ripped up and and turned over so we actually got ourselves a, a pretty nice little bed here so we're gonna go ahead let's get the lawnmower load back up in the truck all right y'all so as we're heading on back to the farm here guys i'm gonna call this one a video it was actually uh fairly fun messing around with a new little lawnmower here and uh i don't know we got quite a bit done today though too but anyways if y'all liked the video today, make sure you go ahead, slap that thumbs up button for me. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Kingman community, make sure you go ahead and do that for me now. But anyways, we are going to catch you all on the next one. Peace.